I like the stamp set. It's called By the Tide. Okay, so the supplies you're going to need, um, you're going to need a piece of 5.5 by 8.5 of Whisper White. And then the first layer is 4 by 5 and a quarter of artichoke. And then um, just a little bit smaller by an eighth of an inch. So I think it's 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and an eighth um, of Whisper White to go on top. And then these pieces here are an inch and a half by 3 and 7 eighths. And then this piece uh, is inch and a quarter by 3. Inch and a quarter by 3. So... All right, so let me show you how I did this. Fold it in half, of course. Then I took, and before I did my um, card base, I go ahead and I layer all this up. But before I layer glue that down, I ran it through the Big Shot. And here's my piece through the Big Shot. And this is the Fancy Fans folder love that folder so we will glue this down right then i'm going to take this piece this is designer series paper and it comes out of the paper stacks for the regals that's nice to have in your collection as well because you get assortment of card color uh, cardstock colors and i like the designs and it matches the fancy fans do you see all right so i'm going to leave about inch and a half two inches on the bottom then the next thing i'm going to do is um ink up my stamp out of the set ink it up okay and then that gets glued down here at the bottom okay now um, what I'm going to do is uh, get a piece of scrap of the vanilla and I'm going to go cut it out with this Here's my piece of vanilla. I went and cut it out with window frame uh, framelits. I also went and I cut out um, the neck size up in Calypso Coral. So that's what I'll do my stamping. I know I, some, I always tell you to stamp first then cut out, but with this design you don't have to do that. It's kind of free formed. So let's stamp our fan. Now what I'm going to do with the fan is I'm going to ink it up and then I'm going to stamp off. Then I'm going to stamp on here. The reason why I stamp it off so that the color is not so intense. And my little cute little seahorses will show up. And that's going to be done in Calypso Coral. I can see um, Chris Cantaloupe done this way too. I think Chris Cantaloupe would look really, really good. Okay, so here is one seahorse. I'm going to make the next one be just a little little bit down. He's off the paper but that's alright. Step further and I ran it through the big shot. Now what I was noticing with everybody in class is they were struggling with um, how to um, work with this shape. Everybody wanted to turn it. How do they want to turn it? that way which is really very weird so they really they really struggled with being able to see but just notice that it's a square edge on top so when you go to stamp your little guys here make sure you got the square edge because if you do it any other way then they then you're gonna have to because they layer up say just like that which I will glue down so when you stamp just make sure you find that square else you'll have a the other shape is put on with dimensionals, even about a half inch at the top. Show off as much as that poem as you can. And then I'm going to take some linen thread. Get it started by leaving a little ear over here. And I'm just tying a square knot. Now some of the ladies thought this would make a great man's card, and I agree. And without having something on the outside to define what you need it for, it really could be used for just thinking of you or just anything so it's a great card all right so let's make this little guy oop, let's make this little guy at the bottom and all he is these two great punches the back is the green is one inch and then I'm going to take 
see if I can fit it in, but I'm using artichoke in this great stamp with the anchor. Let's see if I can make it fit. If not, I'll stamp it again. And that gets popped up. Yay, I made it fit. I just love that look of that little, just a little bit of scallop around the edge. Isn't that cute? I mean, look how cute that turned out. And then he gets glued down. And we are done, except for loading it on the card base. And of course, we're going to use dimensionals. Okay, there you have it.